we're going to talk about prayer again today. You know, Charles Fulmer wrote a book called Teach Us to Pray, and occasionally I, I do a, ch- a, a sermon out of, out of one of the chapters of that book. And he had one, t- one chapter called Joyous Prayer. But before we get into that, I'd like to tell some statistics about prayer, prayer and marriage specifically. And that is that of couples who worship together, together every Sunday and actually go to church, about one in 30 will get divorced. Now, in today's date, in today's society, this is a very low figure. But of those who go to church and pray and then pray together in their home every day, one in 300 will get divorced. And I know this is true in other cultures, like uh, really inside of the United States, the, the uh, very Orthodox Jews you know, who are praying together all the time, divorce is virtually unheard of. That's probably one out of 300. You know, just, just a, an astonishing thing that prayer will do for us in our lives. And there's a, a thing about prayer because, you know, we know Jesus says, you know, go into your secret chamber and close the door and pray in secret. Pray privately. But he also says, where two or more are gathered in my name, there I am also. So there's a value to private silent prayer. There's a value to group prayer. They both have their value. The Holy Spirit did not come until the 120 disciples were gathered in an upper room praying together in unity. 